Hi, today I want to talk about how uh, to choose the right extensions for you and all my tips on uh, directing you and all of my tips on uh, factors that I use to uh, pick a right type of extension for our guests. I have actually a test and a quiz on my website, which is zoyag.com that you can take personally and it would help you narrowing down your options and giving you the right path and right direction. But I'm going to walk you through those factors myself. This is something I definitely, I would say, you're not supposed to make that decision on your own. Sometimes we think we have fine hair, but if you go to a professional, they will tell you that's not really in comparison to other people. So again, definitely use a professional to help you with that. I have my co-pilot Ivy who wants to just sleep here as well. That is helping me. So you might just see the top of her little bun and uh, so you know what that is. When I have a guest come in, and there are several factors that I consider. Number one is their age group. And I will tell you later on why I think a certain method is better for one versus the other. But I would say about the age group and the style that you are, I would say group that you are. And uh, because in general, our activity level changes based on the age group that we are in. The second thing is the type of hair that you have. Do you have very fine, thin hair diffused everywhere? Do you have thick hair? Do you have short hair? Do you have just your current style? Is it a bob that you want to go longer? Do you have uh, fine hair? But a lot of it. Uh, you have curly hair. So all of those factors make a difference. So based on those, uh, I make a determination how to choose or what method is better for you versus the other. The third thing I consider is the level of activity and your lifestyle. Are you somebody who works out all the time? Are you gonna pull your hair back? Are you somebody you go to sauna in hot heat? Do you pull your hair up? Are you in the lake? Or are you somebody who doesn't do a whole lot of that? Or you're not a much of a sweater? Like personally, I work out, but I don't sweat much. So everybody's different and you have to consider people's lifestyle and what works for you. And each method of extension offers certain, I would say, flexibility that the other method doesn't. And then we'll talking about how do you style your hair? Or how often do you wash your hair? Some people wash their hair daily. Some people always like their hair curled. Do you like your hair styled a certain kind of way? Do you have curly hair and you wear your hair straight? That is another factor. And then the last but not least is your ability to get maintenance or how often are you able to visit the salon and uh, at the end of the day it's your budget it is very important to know if you're getting extensions for a long period of time or you want them for an event for a short period is this something you want to wear for a year till your hair grows out or is this something you want to incorporate into your life uh, just because you know uh, your hair never grows past certain length. All of those affect our decision. And then knowing that, considering not the original cost of the extension and the application, you have to consider the maintenance and your plan and how you are able to afford them. It is very important to know if, again, you're getting them for a short period, long period, the cost, and the maintenance associated with them. All of those affect the type of extension you should be getting. I would say generally it will leave you with one or two options and makes the process a little bit easier for you to figure that out. Again, we have that test on our website, that quiz that you can go take and based on that, you will get some recommendation and some follow-up email 
explaining each method and what is the best method for you. Until next video, ciao. And if you have any question, comment below and subscribe to our channel. Have a good one.